we have a segment in our show called the Weed Man Van, where we have people tell us the story of the first time they ever met the Weed Man. <laughs> We have a segment on our show called Weed Man Van, where you tell the, the story of the first time you met the weed man, the first time you like first time you basically either got high or like bought uh, drugs on the black market, bought weed on the black market and smoked with the weed man oh. or that kind of thing. Um, we've had Tommy Chong tell us one. We've had a bunch of celebrities. So we're trying to f- hear stories of, of celebrities with their first time they ever like bought weed, smoked weed. Uh, find, and actually felt something from it. Uh, <laughs> You're safe here. My, my very first time, um, I didn't buy it from from anybody. It was with a, it was with a teammate, and and they had already had it, and that was you know that. <laughs> That was my first time ever, you know, um, smoking. I just, I felt like, uh, I don't, I don't remember what, what the, I don't remember exactly the reasoning behind why I did it. Oh, we, we had just got our ass beat. We lost the game. <laughs> <laughs> we, we lost the game. Uh, and, and I didn't play that well and I was kind of frustrated. Um, and you know, I was, you know, I, I was kind of, I was reluctant because of my whole life, I hadn't, I hadn't smoked. Like, yeah, I was, I had tunnel vision. Like, you know, all my friends around me, you know, smoke, drink, and I just, I could kick it with them all day, but I just always said no. Um, and uh, I was just, I just had that, I had that V-line tunnel vision to where I wanted to be. And... It was after we lost the game, and, and and he was like, "Hey, bro, just bro, just relax, just relax, and just come chill and just try this." <laughs> and I'm like, "Man, I'm good, dog. I'm good. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just stick to the, you know, a little henny and coke." Um, and and so I I, I just you know kind of pushed it back, pushed it back for a while, and I finally was like, "All right, bro, I'm gonna catch you later." And I dapped him up, and I and I left. And uh, I started thinking, I'm like, man, dang, like I feel horrible. <laughs> like we fucking got our ass beat. I didn't play good. Like he balled out. Like what the worst that could happen. I trust him. Like he's somebody that I know ain't going to give me like no bullshit. That don't make me fucking just so they can, you know, I've seen guys give someone some crazy oh, shit yeah. just so they can make, make fun of them and shit. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. And 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 I knew he wasn't going to be the guy that, that put me in that position because obviously when you're in that position you'll never try anything from anyone again. Right. Um. And I I I, so I called up and I'm like, man, you know what, bro? I'm gonna try that. Come on. And so I turned back around and I went back and and he rolled it up and I was like, ah. and my body was at that time it was so just so clean so where when I hit it the first time I was just kind of like. And it tasted, and it, and it, and I wasn't used to the taste, so it tasted kind of funny. Right, yeah. Like, Required. you know what I'm saying? Your first time smoking, like you like, you know what I'm saying? Like that, that, that taste. I'm like, oh, I don't know how y'all do this. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he was like, bro, you'll get used to it. Don't trip. Just hit it again. And I did that a couple times, and about I had me another drink, and about three hours later, I woke up on the couch. So. <laughs> <laughs> That was that was my first time ever. That was my first time ever smoking. I woke up on his couch about twelve o'clock that night, and uh, decided to want to go home. But he was just like, "Nah, just chill. You've been drinking." Right. And then he rolled up another one, and I never turned back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Awesome. Great story. CBD gang, we're looking for your weed man van stories. The typical weed man in van has many faces. Dirtbag Dave. Dirty Sherry. Scuzzy Sean. Many names. Long-haired Larry. Greasy Gerald. Sketchy Eddie. And many different types of vans. But everybody has met him, and everybody has a story. Who turned you on to the power of flower? We want to hear about your first experience with grass, pot, Maui Wowie, you know, bud. Give the show a call at 1-833-CBD-GANG. That's 1-833-223-4264. Tell us your story in three minutes or less, and we might play it on the show. Hell, one day we might animate it for our YouTube page. of this podcast, live stream, video, audio presentation, or YouTube video, or its related social media pages or interactions are for informational purposes only. CBD Source Center and the CBD Source Podcast does not offer medical advice. Its host, Cole Cheney, is not a medical professional. His experiences with cannabidiol and other cannabinoids are his own and may not affect you the same way. Everybody's endocannabinoid system is different. Statements made regarding CBD and THC products have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. The efficacy of these products and the testimonials made have not been confirmed by FDA-approved research. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. All information presented here is not meant as a substitute for, or alternative to, information from healthcare practitioners. Please consult your healthcare professional about potential interactions or other possible complications before using any product. The Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act requires this notice. It was like, nah, just chill, you've been drinking. Right. And then he wrote up another one and I never turned back.